Let's look at the seven manual digitizing tools for creating in the software. We're going to first look at the open object tool. When I select open object, only outlines are available. I can choose any one of the outlines, but the fills are all grayed out because you cannot create a fill with an open object tool. And we'll first create a straight line. A straight line is created with two left clicks and then an enter. The open object tool can also create curved lines. Now with this curved line, I'm going to left click, come up to the peak of the curve and right click. And notice that the shape of the line has not changed because it takes three clicks to form this shape. And then I will left click and press enter. If I want to make a more gentle curve, I don't move my mouse as much for the second click. And it will make a more gentle line and press enter second left click. If I have a tight curve, I'm going to have to make more clicks closer together to go around a tight curve. The open freehand tool will also create open objects, so only the outlines are available. I want to increase the smoothness of the freehand tool, and that will make smoother lines. You can also change the size of the circle that you see attached to my mouse. Now the freehand tool is really hard to use with the mouse and it's much easier if you have a tablet. But, and it's also much easier to just draw a line without the benefit of having something in the background that you're trying to trace. But you click and hold on your mouse and you create the line. And you can see that, yes, it is hard to follow exactly with the mouse. But I can always reshape this after I'm done drawing. The rectangle tool will make either outline objects or filled objects. So I can select the type of fill I want to use. And I'll click at the top of the square. And to make a square, I'm going to hold the control key down and I'll click when I get to the bottom of the square. If I want to do a rectangle, I can click and I release the mouse and drag down to the other end and I do not have the control key down. Click again to generate the stitches. The ellipse tool is used to make circles and ovals. And again, it is a closed object that is going to be made. So I can use either outlines or fills. And let's choose an outline for the circle. I'm going to click in the center of the circle and drag, click again, and press Enter. Now, if I had a filled object, the direction that I drag to the outside of the circle influences the angle of the stitch. With an oval, it takes three clicks. I'm going to click in the center, drag to the outside, click, and then drag either to the left or right, click again, and then press enter. Let's go back to a step fill for the next tool, and we're going to use the closed object tool for this. Wherever I want to change directions or create a point, I'll use a left click. When I want to make curves, I'll use a right click. So as I click around, my shape is being formed. And here I'm going to have to insert a right click. Now I'm close to the end, so I want the software to close the shape and I press enter. The closed freehand tool is again not the easiest tool to use, but it can be a fun tool. I'm going to click where I want my design to start and then I'm going to just drag around and I'm dragging my mouse and I'm holding down my left mouse key 
and just circling around this shape. It's a tool that you won't use very much. When you're ready, release the mouse and you have your shape. With the block digitizing tool, this will set multiple angles in an object as you digitize. And if you'll recall in the edit menu in an earlier video, we talked about adding stitch angles. Well, with the block digitizing tool, you can set these angles as you go. You have to remember that you need to cross from one side the, to the other when you're using this tool. So choose the block digitizing tool and we'll choose a satin fill for this. And you're going to zigzag across the shape, setting the angles as you go. I'm using right clicks where I want to curve and left clicks where I want a straight line. So these last clicks will be left clicks and then an enter. Each of these objects can now be edited choosing the type of stitch and the color. The objects can also be reshaped if needed.